Coming from a person who doesn't naturally play their hunter and doesn't really use the hunter in a, in a PvE setting, this build gives me the capabilities I've been looking for and gives me the ability spam that I like to use on other different characters. I'm able to stun unstoppable champions once I proc my the exotic that we're using today's perk and that gives me the capabilities to really be part of the team and actually clear it as while using my hunter and not just keep my hunter inside pvp so now i'm diversifying my classes and picked up the hunter to actually clear ads and use while i'm doing master law sectors master nightfalls i just completed the master nightfalls with my teammates and this build helped me do it especially with the changes going into lake of shadows so now i'm able to actually have unlimited ability energy spam huge dps numbers because the super of this subclass does a lot of damage and i'm able to consistently heal myself because we are going to be rocking a healing grenade let me take you guys on a tour of the build i've been using on my hunter so i can actually start playing on my hunter i am not a hunter man and i rarely even use my hunter but this build is kind of getting me back inside of the season and this is the build i'm going to be using to clear the legendary campaign and i haven't even gotten around to doing it yet so let me take you guys on a tour to jump straight into it the exotic of choice will be at three's embrace and the exotic perk will be skittering sting the weighted knife gains a second bounce and rapid precision hits with your weapons grant weighted knife a significant damage bonus and the ability to stun unstoppable champions now this damage increase will be a 200 percent damage increase and the way to consistently practice is by just hitting rapid precision precision hits on any any target so pick up a machine gun or pick up a submachine gun and just start hitting headshots start doing a lot of precision damage and once you see that perk activated that's when you can start spamming your throwing knife now i wasn't fully aware of this while doing the build until i started to notice and dug more research into the exotic so that's something i really wasn't doing so this is just going to take it over the top if you guys can consistently just proc this perk this perk does a lot of damage and going into master nightfalls this helped me really clear ads but that is the exotic of push. Everything about this build will revolve around this exotic. The weapons we use are just going to be subjugated to the, the content we're running. So I, I love using Wish Hunter when going into Legendary Lost Sectors and Master Nightfall. But we always change our weapons depending on the content we're running. So we're using Athri's Embrace. And the mods to go around with that will be, let's dive straight into it. The mods we will be rocking will be Kinetic Siphon and Void Siphon. This is just so we can spawn lots of ammo. We will be using Special Finisher, so we need to spawn lots of orbs of power. And we're just going to be able to consistently keep our ammo up by using a, a way to spawn those orbs of power. We will combine those siphons with powerful friends, so our teammates can also benefit from us picking up an orb of power. On our gauntlets, the really important part will be melee melee kickstarter and heavy handed heavy handed will give us the ability to create orbs of power by defeating enemies with our throwing knife and since we will be spamming our throwing knife and killing enemies consistently we will spawn lots of orbs of power now i like running melee kickstarter because when you mess up your rotation and you don't have your throwing knife just by having melee kickstarter after you throw you will gain 10 percent of your melee energy back and that will just give you the ability to consistently keep it up and regen your melee when you do not have it your melee being the throwing knife for our chest piece, we do have just regular damage resist mods. Going into the content of a hand, we do switch around our mods a lot. On our boots, we do have a couple different things working together. We do have the top double invigoration. So when we do pick up an overpower, we are going to gain melee energy. This is just so we can keep our throwing knife up consistently when we do run out of it or when the abs are so strong, like in Master Nightfalls and Master Law Sectors, that we're not consistently one shotting the enemies. We need another way to regen our throwing knife. We're going to combine that with better already so every single time we pick up an orb of power and we will be spawning lots of orbs of power we do gain health back that's one way we are able to consistently regen our health the last thing we do have will be special finisher and reaper reaper is after you use your class ability aka your dodge your next weapon final blow will spawn an orb of power as you're starting to get a picture of we will be spawning orbs of power by just defeating enemies by using our kinetic weapon and our void weapon as well as just by dodging and using a weapon that doesn't match those damage archetypes we do have special finisher so that our ammo economy will be great and we're able to just have ammo if you're running a, a double special setup and you need ammo for your trace rifle or for your fusion rifle we do have bomber so we're able to just reduce the cool on our grenade and a grenade of choice will be our restoration grenade so we're able to just heal ourselves this build revolves around us going in dealing a lot of damage healing ourselves dodging around bouncing around and just using our throwing knife to deal a lot of damage let's jump right into the solo 3.0 subclass so we can so i can show you guys exactly what you need to make this build work we are going to be using blade barrage and the most 
important part of this build will be weighted throwing knife. That is the melee you want to rock. Melee throwing knife when you throw a grenade and it, it deals extra precision damage and it causes scorched enemies to ignite. That's how we're able to stun unsolvable champions even if you don't have a perk prop from Athreus Embrace. So we're still able to stun unsolvable champions. We do have healing grenades. So we can heal ourselves whenever we are neck deep in as and, and we just need a quick burst of healing to survive the barrage from an anti-barrier champion especially when an anti-barrier champion shoots missiles at you you need a quick way of burst healing to stay alive the two aspects we'll be rocking will be knock them down so we do gain two fragment slots from this and when we are radiant the final blows from our throwing knife will be fully refunded that's how we are able to just keep on throwing our throwing knife and that's the next aspect we do have is on your mark so we gain three fragment slots which is a lot we have a lot of space to really change around this build and make it work activating your class ability immediately grants you maximum stacks of on your mark and once you do have the maximum stacks of on your mark you will gain increased weapon handling and reload speed that stacks up to three so we do have five fragment slots so let me show you guys exactly what we're using we will be using Ember on Singeing, so our class ability recharges faster once you scorch targets. You will be scorching everything because you will be using your weighted throwing knife, which does scorch enemies and makes you radiant. We're going to combine it with Ember of Searing, so once we defeat those scorch targets, we will be granted melee energy. And we're going to create a fire sprite, an additional plus 10 recovery, which is nice. The next thing we do have is Ember of Mercy. When you revive a nearby ally, you will gain restoration and once you pick up the fire sprite you will spawn from the feeding scorched targets you will be granted restoration that's another way we are able to heal ourselves with this build the next thing we do have is ember of empyrean so our solar weapon final blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects applied to us now since we do have ember of empyrean which is going to extend our radiant buff we will also need to make ourselves radiant we're going to be making ourselves radiant by amber of torches so anytime we do get a melee final blow we will be making ourselves radiant so this, the way you want to play this build is you want to get precision hits by using your weapons of choice my weapon of choice will be the wish ender and the commemoration once you do get pre precision hits you will activate the athreys embrace exotic perk and that means that your throwing knife will now deal an increased 200 percent damage once it deals that 200% damage, you will make yourself radiant by hitting those targets and you will scorch those targets. Once you make yourself radiant and you give yourself restoration, you can extend that duration even more by just continually getting kills over and over again with your throwing knife. And once you are radiant, getting kills with your throwing knife will fully refund it. That's the cycle. That's how you're seeing me consistently spam my throwing knife and just get kills and get it refunded. That's the loop. This is the build that I'm kind of, I'm using on my hunter right now to go through the legendary campaign. As I said in the beginning, I needed a build to go through the legendary campaign and finally unlock strand. I still have an unlock strand on my hunter. So if you guys like the build, please like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the other builds I have on my channel. I'll see you guys next week.